I know this looks like a cornfield, and it is, but it's also a pirate ship, a 16-acre corn maze that will look like this in a matter of hours. Corn mazes are big money makers for farmers, but to keep people interested, you need to give them something that looks like this. And to do that, you need a professional. Enter Sean Stolworthy. 10 years ago, he and his brother figured out a way to rig a GPS unit to their compact tractor and plug in elaborate maze designs. We got out in the field and we got cutting and I thought, there's no way this thing looks like a tiger. At the time we were cutting a tiger and I said, this, it, this is not working, there's no way it's working. So we went up in the air and took a look at it and looked down and, hey, it's a tiger. The technology was a huge time saver and Sean decided to go pro. He's one of only three or four professional companies in the country. Every summer, Sean and his family load up their mobile home back in Idaho and travel from maze to maze to maze. In four months, Sean cuts about 90 corn mazes in almost 40 states. That's basically a maze every day. My kids love it because they've got friends in Tennessee, New York, Pennsylvania, all over. A successful corn maze can literally save a farm. At Horsley Farm, the Mazar family hopes their corn maze will help keep their new farm afloat. It yes. just takes you over that hump, yeah. takes you out of the red and into the black, hopefully. Yeah. But it's not as easy as it looks. Professionals like Sean develop intricate designs that keep people guessing at every corner. Every alley and side alley look the same, and then you get someplace and you recognize it on your map, and you go, oh, look, this is where we are. So there's a, a sense of, um, you know, discovery as part of it. People will go to a professional maze and they'll see the cars in the parking lot and they're like, oh, ka you know, let's do the math. And then they think that they can go out and just, you know, run a lawnmower through it and people come. And it's totally not one of those, if they build it, they will come things. It's a challenging corn maze, which makes it professional. The person, you know, can go through it within five minutes they don't really get their money's worth. If they go through for an hour and a half and they're exhausted and they want to buy a drink afterwards, then yeah, it's a great maze. They loved it. I just think it's a really good thing for a lot of people that want to be out in the farms, you know? If I was just plant this horse corn, it'd be a one-time crop. You, you harvest it and that's it. Now we found the way to probably quadruple what we could do planting just corn. In such a large maze, people get scared they won't find their way out. But isn't that the point? There's no way you're gonna get lost, lost. I mean, if your car's still in the parking lot at the end of the day, the end of the night, people are not gonna, like, leave you. <laughs> I don't believe we lost any in there last year. I didn't find any when I harvested the corn. Yeah. 